Corsia just launched their new A100i RG Platinum all-in-one liquid cooler. The main focus of this unit is clearly the RG fans and multi-zone RG pump. To find out what this new AIU offers and to have a quick unboxing and short performance review, stay tuned with me. Let's go through the spec quickly. Brackets included will support all new processors and old processors from 10 years back. The dimension of the radiator is standard for 240mm, fans rated RPM is 400 to 2400, airflow 75cfm noise level 37dBA. Let's check out what do we have inside of the box. We have of course the radiator attached with the pump. Let's talk about it a little. The finishing of the radiator looks really great, there are 21 fins per inch. There is enough gaps between the fins for high air flow. The tube is soft, nicely braided, looks really slick. The pump almost looks similar as the A100i Pro RGB from the top, but the copper plate this time is square shaped and little bigger. This might be because to provide better support for that big thread lever processor. There are two ML120 Pro RGB PWM high performance fans. Let's talk about the fans a bit. These fans feature magnetic levitation bearings thanks to the magnetic field that the combination of the fans rotor and bearing creates. The fan shaft doesn't come in contact with the bearings so there is almost no friction. Another mentionable thing is fan blades which are shaped as a way so that it can create maximum air pressure, minimum noise. Well let's see what else we have got. Well, we got three mounting brackets, one for Intel, one for AMD except tier 4 socket and another one is only for tier 4 socket. There are enough screws for mounting red with casing for fans and for CPU brackets. There is one Corsia Link 9-pin USB 2.0 motherboard header cable. And of course we have the quick start guide. I went through it to find out how helpful it is and all infos are up to the point to help a first time user to install it easily. Mounting and setting up the unit is pretty easy. All three mounting brackets are tools free, so no screw is required to attach the brackets with the pump. But it does require a screw to attach the brackets with the CPU brackets. Mounting the rads with the casing is easy as well. Attach the fans first with the rad, then screw it up with the casing. Also, you must connect the USB cable with both motherboard and the pump and you will have to connect setup power cables and fan cables with the pump and with the motherboard. Well, this should be it, we are ready to rock and roll. My room temperature was at 28 degrees Celsius. Processor I used was an i7-7700K running at 4.8 GHz at 1.25 V. Now about radiator placement, you should always feed cold air into the radiator to get better result. Also thermal paste could be a factor of getting different result than mine. So it's time to check out the performance. So I have used ADA64 for 20 minutes to put processor at full load and the average temperature stayed around 66 degrees celsius but there were some spikes on core 1 and core 2, sometimes reaching 78 degrees celsius even. But the good thing is as soon as I stopped ADA64 it immediately dropped down to 39 degrees celsius. And the temperature at idle stayed at 34 degrees celsius as you can see. Also it is to be noted that I used full fan and pump speed to get the best result. I should talk about noise now. Pump is absolutely quiet and I bet you won't be hearing it. The fans at full speed is quieter than most fans in the market but you gonna hear them of course at medium to full speed. The good thing is that you can also set fan speed at your wish using the software. On the topic of software, in one word it's fantastic. There are so many features and it didn't seem to be buggy. Everything worked out as intended. There are plenty of options to play with different lighting effects. You select anything and it acts instantly. So let's talk about the things that I liked from this package. The build quality, it's really premium. LEDs are bright, transition of LEDs are smooth as well. These fans are fantastic. In terms of creating air pressure and almost zero vibration, it supports zero RPM through software for ultra quiet operation. 
I like the fact that everything is inside of the pamphlet. You won't have to worry about whether your motherboard will support the LED or not. And of course the unit comes with hefty 5 years of warranty. And things that could be a little better. Well I think they could have put few more LEDs with each fans. Fans are little noisy under full or medium RPM. The cables around the pump make some cable management and good routing. Also at this price point, adding a small thermal paste tube would have been a nice touch. Well this unit will be available for 159 USD. Overall this cooler seems to be a little pricey, but ultimately it's a fantastic looking, detailed customization and great performing liquid cooler. So see you guys next time, till then happy cooling over and out.